Okay, welcome to GoToMath.com. We're down here at, uh, down here, looking at some calculus. Implicit differentiation. And we need to kind of read the whole thing. It says, find the equation of the tangent line that passes through the point 4, 4. Now that point's going to actually be on this curve here. Um, all right, and 5x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 112. So we got a few steps to take to do that. Let's move into the classroom and let's get busy about blue. We'll do that. Okay, so we have uh, 5x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 112 and there's a point somewhere 4 4 on the curve now this is what we want to construct this right here is the equation to a line and this guy is what we're going to find first of course that's the slope the slope of the line. So this will be the equation to the tangent line, right? And this is going to be uh, the slope. This will be the first thing that we're going to find. And we're going to do that by taking the derivative of, uh, we're going to take the derivative of y with respect to x. All right, so let's do that. So the derivative here is going to be 10x, and then this will be 4y. And remember, we write y prime next to it, and that is 0. So now we just solve for y prime. So y prime is equal to negative 10x over 4y. And of course, we can simplify this down. This is negative and 2, so that would be 5x over 2y. So to find this slope, all we need to do is plug this point in right here. So we have 5 times, so 4 for x and 4 for y. So we have negative 20 over, um, this is kind of silly, I just, you know, whatever, 8. And of course, these guys can cancel out, right? So we'll end up with negative 5 halves, which is interesting. So now we have the slope, and all we got to do is negative 5 halves x plus b. All we need to do now is solve for b here. And so we plug 4 in for x and 4 in for this x. Obviously, they're both 4 and then solve for b in this problem. b is going to be equal to 5 times 4 is 20. Actually 2 goes into 20, doesn't it? 10 times, so that's negative 10. Bring it over, it's positive 10. 2 is 14, so b is 14. Is that right? Okay. And so b is 14. So we end up with y is equal to negative 5 halves x plus 14. So there's the equation of the tangent line. Let's hope that's what that is. Negative 5 halves x plus 14. That's it. All right. So we were asked to find the equation of the tangent line that passes through this point. So we went ahead and wrote out the equation to the line in slope-intercept form, I should say. We took the derivative, solved for y prime, then took our point, plugged it in, and of course those guys cancel out, and then found our slope, found the slope at that particular point. Well, that's going to be the slope of this line if it's tangent to that point, right? And uh, and runs through that point, I should say. Okay. All right. So remember, we were in this section. We were in this section right here. All right. So come check it out. We're go to math.com where you can.